Yo, what is going on, guys? It is Boy Nick here, back again with a brand new video today. So this video is the third episode in my new series, which I'm reviewing every single Marvel Cinematic Universe Disney Plus show and special up to the release of Secret Invasion. Today we're going to be reviewing Loki Season 1. So Season 1 of Loki is our third TV show in Phase 4, and right off the bat, we have some awesome lead characters and an awesome cast. Uh, Tom Hiddleston, once again, is perfect casting as Loki. He's absolutely brilliant in the show like he is in the previous movies. And something that I was kind of skeptical of going into the show whenever it came out was how they were going to deal with Loki post what they had done with him in the last two Avengers movies. However, I feel like the way they decided to continue his arc in the show is actually a very uh, smart way to go about his arc. And it actually makes for a very compelling story because we kind of have to, like, redo some stuff in a sense, but, like, not in a bad way, in a way that actually makes a lot of sense of the story. And I think they do a great job of it. I think Tom Hiddleston just absolutely nails it in this show. And I also think that Owen Wilson is awesome as Mobius. Mobius was interesting because the first episode, Mobius was kind of a bit odd of a character to me. But as the show goes on, I started to like Mobius a lot more. Owen Wilson's very charming as the character. And I think that's sort of like a lot more about Mobius was the relationship that developed between him and Loki. Uh, they make for a great on-screen pairing. They have a lot of really fun banter and dialogue between the two of them. And they actually make for a genuinely interesting friendship because it's a very unlikely kind of allyship. But it goes over very well, and they're very entertaining to watch. I wrote down that Sophia Martino is great as Sylvie. She was another kind of character I was skeptical of whenever we were introducing variants of Loki, but she's actually very charming. I think she and Tom Hiddleston do a great job together. They're an awesome duo as well. And it's kind of interesting to see the different things about Loki in different universes, and not just what makes them physically different, but what makes them, them different in terms of their personality. And Sophia Martino does a great job at playing Sylvie. I think she's very interesting. Uh, she... <laughs> What they do with their character is very interesting, and I can't wait to see what they do more with her in the future. I think they have a lot of fun potential with this character. And this one very talented actor whose name I don't know how to pronounce it, I'll put on screen somewhere, is really good as Ravana, I believe is how you pronounce it. And she has a lot of great scenes with Mobius. She's also one of the better parts about the character of Mobius that they have interesting scenes together, so it's kind of nice that whenever Mobius isn't with Loki, he also has another kind of character to latch on to to have interesting scenes with. I'll throw down that I think Tara Strong does a great voice acting as Miss Minutes. Tara Strong has done a lot of voice acting in her career. I actually kind of realized how many cartoons that she was in that I watched when I was a kid that I didn't even realize she did voice acting for. She's very talented. I think that she's very charming as Miss Minutes. We don't see Miss Minutes too much, but she's kind of memorable because of how funny she is because of Tara Strong's great voice acting. The show also has some great visuals. We actually get some really, really impressive just like wide shots of beautiful scenery that I feel like you don't get a whole lot of in the MCU and I think that it makes for a really really great looking show and there's also some great some other kind of great visuals of like stuff that they do with smoke and color palettes it's a very well directed show I think the camera work whether it's like wide angles or close-ups or colors or set pieces or anything. I think it's just a very visually appealing show. I also like the fact that the show has a more serious tone to it, making it feel more refreshing. It kind of reminds me of the tone that we had with Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, where it still has its fun moments. It's got some funny moments in it, of course, because it's, you know, a Loki show. But it's actually, like, taking itself seriously, and it takes the actual premise of the show seriously enough to where you do care, but you're also not bored. There's a lot of great concepts introduced to the show, too, which I'm not going to go into because I know some of you probably haven't seen the show, and I don't want to spoil it for anyone. But some concepts that are just very interesting in the grand scheme of the MCU that I can't wait to see them do more in the next season. And there's also a lot of really important things established regarding the multiverse saga, which, of course, I'm not going to go into because I don't want to spoil anything. But I feel like this show... Uh, coming out after some of the multiverse stuff we were somewhat kind of introduced to in WandaVision. I think that this is excellent, like, overarching lapse between the two of them. I think that it really explains a lot that need to be explained. And it did it in a way that was simple, but also not just dumbed down. It actually, like, it makes sense, and it's intriguing, and it actually makes you want to see more. And the final thing I want to talk about when it comes to stuff I like about Loki is a great introduction to Jonathan Majors as He Who Remains. Now, I'm not going to go deep in anything, anything with this character because I don't want to spoil it for anyone. But they kind of do some more stuff with him in Ant-Man of the Wasp Quantumania, which I did a review for. And I'm not going to spoil anything from that either, because I don't want to spoil anything. But I like the way they introduce Jonathan Major's character in this show. And I kind of like what they also do with him in Quantumania. I think it makes for a really promising future with the character. That's all I want to say. I don't want to say anything else, because if I do, I feel like I would have said too much. Now, though I do really like Loki, I think it has some great storylines, some great concepts, and of some great characters and brilliant casting. I do have a couple flaws of the show. It's nothing really that major. The first thing I've written down is the show does require you to pay a lot of attention to fully understand what's there. There's a lot of stuff that's introduced that 
uh, it is kind of a lot to take in, and so if you just zone out during the, the show, you're really not going to understand what's going on. But if you do pay attention, it's really intriguing and really fun to watch. It is actually kind of like, oh, I didn't know that we could do this kind of thing with the MCU. And so this is kind of one of those shows where I feel like if you don't pay attention, you're probably going to think the show's overhyped. If you do pay attention, you're probably going to enjoy it. That's kind of just like one flaw I have with this. I can't really just sit back and unwind. I kind of have to pay attention when I watch it. And also, something else that I wrote is that because this is just season one, and we are going to get a season two, which I can't wait for that to come ha- uh, to come out, uh, it does kind of leave us wanting more than what we got, because there's like a whole lot of stuff that happens where it's like, oh, you just, you just want to see it. I know that there's a whole lot of stuff that happens with the anticipation. I know anticipation promises a lot, and I can't wait to see what they do with it in season two. It's just that thing where it's like, oh, you kind of just want to see more of it now because of how hooked they get you. So those are kind of like my only flaws with the show. I think this is a great show overall. Uh, you know, I kind of wrote down that because you have to pay attention a lot, it's not as entertaining as a show like WandaVision or whatever. I do slightly like it more than Falcon and the Winter Soldier, though. It is a great show, despite some of the facts that, uh, you're left wanting a lot more, and you have to pay attention a lot. But aside from that, very entertaining show. I do like it, and I think it's a very important chapter within the MCU. I'm gonna give the first season of Loki an overall rating of an 8.7 out of 10. It's very entertaining, not quite as entertaining as something like WandaVision, but still entertaining and fun nonetheless. And I'm going to give it an overall grade of an A-. minus. I kind of wish that we learned more than we did learn. I kind of wish that the show was a little bit easier to digest upon first viewing. But it is still quite good, so I'm going to give it an A-. minus. So that was my review for the first season of Loki. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I will have a review next week for the first season of What If. I'm excited to do a review about that. And I will definitely do a review of Loki Season 2, and that comes out later this year. I'm also currently doing a series where I'm reviewing every single Sony Spider-Man Universe film up to the release of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Uh, yesterday I did a video for The Amazing Spider-Man, so make sure that you check that out. Thank you so much as always for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, you know, make sure that you hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you get notified of my latest videos. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. And also hit the link in the description so you can go follow me on all my platforms on Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff. Go follow me on there. It really helps me out. Uh, make sure that you also watch all the shorts that I post. That really helps out with the channel. Thank you so much as always for watching. And uh, yeah, it's been it. Peace.